Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a Corona Ramble video. And what I've got here is three regular size Corona. And then I got this big son bitch, which is like a fucking massive Corona. I've never seen a Corona this big. Um, you guys might have, but I personally haven't. Um, the thing's just big, man. And I saw it and I was like, I gotta get it. But I also had to get these so that I could like compare it. Man, this thing's dope. It is 710 milliliters, and this one is 330. So it's like, oh shit, what? Like double the size? Damn. That's the one we're drinking, so let's crack this bitch open. last night. Not here. I drank a Corona at the bars. Well, it was a bar restaurant. We went there, me, my mom, and my brother-in-law. We went there right after I was done filming the uh, Jack Daniels video. Oh, shit. Look at that. It's like filled to the max. I don't know why. 
is usually on. Well, no, it's usually with my niece, but she's actually back in New Brunswick right now. So, I'm gonna make him come chill from now on. Because they're actually gonna be gone all of August, so he's gonna be like sitting home doing nothing. He doesn't drink anymore. I think he's like over a year sober, which is crazy, because me and him used to fucking party hard, man. We used to go to the strip club together. to doing that so um but i mean i can go to 
my sister's house and you use her washer and dryer, I just, um, I'm gonna do a, like, big load and I do my other sister's laundry. I have two sisters. I do my other sister's laundry, but I'll have to take her to my older sister's place. And I'll probably do that all on one day when I have the day off. Because I doubt, I doubt that things gonna be fixed by, by the weekend, or on the weekend. I already talked to the landlord, but she hasn't got a call back from their washer, dryer, mechanic, or whatever, whatever the fuck she calls, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I remember last time, it took like a week to get fixed, not here, but at my older sister's place when she just lived down the road in the same complex that's ran by the same people, so I don't know how long it's going to take. And apparently my landlord said that, they go to they don't go to anybody else so they can't like call around so it's whenever buddy has time i don't know what the fuck's wrong with it I fucking press the button and then like get like this error code it says f zero or like f one something like that i looked it up online and some people were saying that you have to like pop out this fucking motherboard thing and solder a new thing on and I'm like motherboard solder motherfucker I don't know how to solder what the fuck is solder I'm not smart like that so I'm not gonna fucking deal with I'm not gonna try to deal with that shit I'll just fuck it up even more so I'm just gonna hang the gloves up but now on Monday I'll go over and do a big load of laundry or whatever
to sell everything. I still gotta put my weights up on Kijiji. I know those will sell quick. I've been looking on Kijiji. People are selling. Their people are still selling weights for like two times uh, the price that they'd be in the store. I'm gonna sell them for what they're worth, a dollar a pound. I don't give a fuck. And with the corona numbers increasing in this city, and um, also tomorrow, everyone has to start wearing masks. Mandatory in public places. Um, like honestly, I think things are gonna start closing it, closing down again. So um, the weights and stuff will sell quick. Where I work at, we have to wear masks in the certain area where I work. I don't only when I go to a certain area. I do, but um, man, those things are fucking hard. Hard to breathe a little bit. Um, only because I work out in the sun. But I don't know. It's not too bad. But it's on and off. If I'm working like really hard, it's like <sighs> you can fucking see the thing going in and out, and it's like, oh my goodness. When I um brought all the bottles to the bottle depot, I was thinking like, oh, well, I can't give it to them like that, so I'd like tip it upside down and grab a pair of tweezers and fucking pull all the uh, limes out. size right there. The bitch is big. I like it. I want to keep it. Yeah. I could put change in it. I did that one time. I saved up a bunch of money. This is a true story. This is like probably the first year that I moved here. Or maybe the second. I was the first year I moved here from Alberta. I saved up like um, I was throwing fives, tens, twenties in there. Shitload of change. And one day I was just like, you know what? I was talking to my brother-in-law. I was like, let's open it up and see how much money I got. So I cracked open the bottle, looked inside. There was like $240. You know what I did? I went out with him that night and spent it all at the bars. I wasn't even saving it for anything. I just wanted to see how much I could save. And I saved like 240 And yeah, we spent it all at the fucking bars that same night. Good times. started this video obviously but um i got a shitload of grapes for a dollar i'm gonna go eat some of those i always check out the discount fruit section
a big burp. I'm gonna hold it in. I'm gonna finish this outro. See you guys next time.